Hello guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizada with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install and configure a DNA server in Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create forward lookup zone, reverse lookup zone, how you can check the DNS records, and so on. Let's start. First of all, open the server manager. Click on the add rules and features. A new add rules and features wizard will be open to you. Click on the next button. From the menu, select rule-based or feature-based installation. Click on the next button. If you have multiple servers in your network, you can see a lot of servers in here in the server pool. But as I have only one server, it is automatically selected. Click on the next button. Here you have to choose the DNA server rule. A new add rules and features wizard will be opened which says this rule will install the DNA server rules. Click on the add features button. There is a caution for me that says no static IP address was assigned to this computer. That's why I cannot proceed. It's okay. Click the continue button. I will assign a static IP address later. Click on the next button. From here, you can add extra features to the DNS server. But by default, the DNS server will select all the necessary features. Click on the next button. In this page, you can find some information about the DNS server. Click on the next button. Here, you can check that which tools and features will be installed. It's OK. Click on the Install button to proceed to the installation. The installation of DNS server is succeeded. Click on the close button to close this add rules and features wizard. Click on the notifications icon. Here you can see it confirms that the DNS is installed. Now open the DNS manager, click on the tools and select DNS from the menu. Select your server from the DNS manager menu. Expand it. Now let's create a forward lookup zone and a reverse lookup zone. Click on the forward lookup zone. If you are installing the DNS server role in your domain controller, by default, it will create the forward lookup zone for your domain. Here you can see that my domain name is tech for all and a forward lookup zone is already created for it. Let's create a new forward lookup zone for our domain controller. Select the forward lookup zone, right click on it, and select new zone. Click on the next button. You have three options to select from the zone type, primary zone, secondary, and stab zone. Primary zone will create a copy of the zone that can be updated directly on this server. Secondary zone will create a copy of the zone that exists on another server. This option will help you to process a load balancing of the DNS server. And the third option is stab zone. I will go with the first option, which is primary zone. And if you are configuring the DNS server in your active directory, you can select this option, store the zone in active directory. Click on the next button. From here, you can select how you want the zone to be replicated. You have three options. The first option is to all the DNS server that are running under the forest of tech for all or you want the DNS records to be replicated on those servers that are running a domain controller in this domain or you want your DNS server records to be replicated with all the child domains that are under techforall.com. 
I will select the second option. Click on the next button. Specify a name for the zone. Point to be noted that you cannot give space for the name. Click on the next button. From the dynamic update, you have three options. The first option is recommended for those servers that contains the DNAs and the Active Directory both in the same server. And the second option is to allow non-secure and secure dynamic updates. And the third option is to do not allow dynamic updates. As I am configuring the DNA server, in this server, which contains domain controller, I will select the first option and click on the next button. But if you are configuring DNA server in a separate server, you can select the second option. Click on the next button and click on the finish button. The new forward look up zone is created. Here you can see primary take for all DNS. Now let's create a reverse look up zone. Point to be noted that before you create a reverse lookup zone, first you have to assign a static IP to your server. Let's assign a static IP address for the server first, and then we can configure the reverse lookup zone. I have assigned an IP from the class C and I have given the Google DNS to the alternate DNS server. Click on the OK button, click OK button and close the Ethernet adapter page. Now let's create a reverse lookup zone. Right click on the reverse lookup zone and select new zone from the right click menu. Click the next button. Again, I will go with the primary zone and I will select this option because I am configuring the DNS in a server which contains the domain controller. I will go with the second option and replicate all the data to all the DNS server running on the domain controller of tech for all Click on the next button. I will create a reverse lookup zone for the IPv4. Click on the next button. Here you have to provide the first three octets of your network. As I'm using the class C IP address, so I have to provide the first three octets of the class C. Click on the next button. From the dynamic update, I will go with the first option, which is recommended for Active Directory. If you are configuring a reverse lookup zone on a separate DNA server, you can go with the second option, which is allow both secure and non-secure dynamic updates. Although it's not recommended and it might have some security vulnerability issues, but that's okay. Select the first option, click the next button, and click on the finish button. Here you can see the reverse lookup zone is created. Now let's create a record for the forward lookup zone and for the reverse lookup zone. And then we will check whether it can dissolve from hostname to IP address and from IP address to hostname. Select the forward lookup zone. As we have two zones, I will select the zone that was already created by the DNS server. Right click on it and select new host from the right click menu. Provide a name. Now provide the IP address of the test laptop. Select this option, create associated pointer record. Click on the add host button. The host record is created. Click on the done button. Now let's create the record for the reverse lookup zone. Here you can see that the record for test laptop is already created. To verify 
whether the DNAs can dissolve names to IP address and IP address to name or not, open CMD and type NSLOCAP. As it is not showing the default server name, let's flush the DNAs and then register it, and then we will check for the NSLOCAP again. Now let's check the NSLOCAP. Now let's check whether it can resolve from hostname to IP address or not. Yes, it can resolve from hostname to IP address. It has given me the IP address of 99. As you can see here, the IP address of 99 is assigned for the test laptop .com. Now let's check if it can resolve from IP address to hostname. Yes, it can resolve both from IP address to hostname and from hostname to IP address. And that's all for today, guys. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned with the future upcoming videos. I will catch you very soon with another one. Till then, have a nice time.